Hello, hello, grade 11, page 196, activity 8.7. So we're back in the same program with all the dams. And we're going to count names by a letter. So, if you're watching the other videos and you'll know what's going on. So if you don't know what's going on, go back to all the other videos in this section. Um, previous days, they're all numbered with days of the month of June and May. Right, over here we want to enter a letter of the alphabet and we're going to loop through all the dams to see count the number of dams that have the name beginning with that letter. Where are we going to display? We'll display it in the rich edit. Okay. So we're going to go through every single row of the table, TBL dams, and we're going to use dam name, the first character from dam name, and see if that matches the character that the input box has. So VAR S um, S name colon string and S name equals input box enter the first letter of a dam name and I'm going to say s name equals s name character number one just to make sure we're only using one the correct character the first letter if they type two letters we're just going to use the first one you know then we have to go through our database table so the same as before and I'm going to do already out dot clear oh crying out loud edit undo Control C, Control V, begin and end, TBL dams dot next. Remember all of these things we have to put in all the time. Now we're going to go through each table and we're going to have another variable. I'm going to call it SDAM. I'm going to say SDAM equals TBL dams square brackets dam name. Don't forget the inverted commas. And then I'm going to say SDAM equals SDAM character number one. Or I could do the following. I could say if S name equals SDAM character number one. See? So S name was already set to the first character. And then if that character, S name character number is S name is equal to S dam. Ooh, ooh. S dam, yeah, S dam. I'll, I'll create a variable called S dam because we can't put character number one next to the table, ADO table component there. Then we're going to increment <coughs> a counter. But we haven't got a counter. We haven't made one. Well, that's easy. We just go and make one. And don't forget, we have to initialize it to zero so we just go and make a variable called i count up here integer <coughs> set it to naught <coughs> increment the counter and we're done and all we have to do now is say already out and this is after everything and take note of where these ends belong this begin and end is for the while loop that's the end of using this data module thing in magic so we say dot lines dot add <coughs> int to string our count plus dams. We're gonna make a nice little sentence here, why not? And then a space dams begin with the letter and then plus s name. Now remember s name we got the first character. So we're good there. And we're done. So let's do it. Run it. Mm -hmm.
Come on, come on. Okay, count names by letter. That's the letter I. And three dams begin with the letter I. Right, that's it, folks. See you another time.